Hello everybody, welcome back to the um, FTCR Sonic Lost World um, LP. We are joined by a few new guests what and we are about to show you all the footage that IGN never bothered to play. We are well. now joined by uh, Sam Call Me Johnny and making his FTCR debut and probably will never want to come back again, Matt, owner of Tails Channel. Did you say Sonic Lost World? Gareth, fuck you for insulting this game like that. <laughs> did, I, did I say Sonic Lost World? Did I, oh yes. my god. <laughs> yeah, you did. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Uh, you know why? Because this is why no one comes to hang out. You know why? Because we we did so we did that so many times. It's forever ingrained on my brain. I I actually like this. Yeah. Fuck Lost World. I actually like this game. I'm back, back playing Sonic Black Knight. <laughs> Sonic and the Black Knight, a part begins with the murder of King Arthur. <laughs> like, what, a, what a part for me. Sonic the Hedgehog. So again, John, John, I've said that Sonic the Hedgehog was arrested. <laughs> John, like, I've, 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 said this, I've said this twice now, but this is a game that does feature a scene where Knuckles tries to commit suicide. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. This incident increased worldwide terrorist activity. Yeah. <laughs> Knuckles, Knuckles the Echidna committed suicide. Bow, 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 bow. Before I make one, has anyone made a Martin Lawrence joke yet? <laughs> <laughs> Again, um, the very first LP I did for this, we were actually, uh, me and Anton were hired by the Sonic show. And on all of the YouTube, YouTube thumbnails, they did put the Black Knight poster. I just put Sonic and the on the top. <laughs> no, I, I actually like this twist. In, in, in a way, you can you can kind of make parallels between this and Secret Rings. When um, oh, what's the what's the uh, genie character in Secret Rings? Razor, Razor yeah, Jet. No, oh, the Shaf genie, the one who. Razor Jet. Oh, Sh Shara. 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 Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Oh, yeah. Shara kind of Oops. pulls a similar turn, but she's like, actually, I'm sorry, Sonic. I love. I love Razor Jim, but she's not quite as evil as her Melina is here. Uh, that, but this, I think, has a bit more of a subtle hint towards it, where I thought it was just completely blatant in Secret Rings. Yeah. It's yeah. like, by the way, I love Ra <laughs> Razor Jim. I love him. I'm going to betray it out. <laughs> I haven't been laid in a Oops. thousand years, or right, Sonic. I'm going to call with him. <laughs> <laughs> Give up the rings or die. I don't, I, give up the rings or die. I don't love you. Give up the ring. Give up the rings and die. I love him. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> I feel stupid for not getting the plot twist of this game back then. Because looking back, it's so obvious. I, I wouldn't. But, I, would, I, like, I wouldn't say it's completely. Um, obvious. I would say, as Johnny, as Johnny said, it's a lot. S Never trust it's a, a wizard. It's a lot subtler than it is in, a, in Secret Ring. I like it. Shop guys, I like it. Well, I mean. What if, if we didn't have Merlina backstabbing us with a, a scabbard, not so much a sword, but uh, we would get, you know, I consider, well, we're not there, at, we're not going to be there in this part yet, but I'll say it now since I'm in this part. I love the final boss music oh, yeah, with Merlina with yeah. me. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. One of my favorite, like, you know, final boss music in Sonic. This game in doesn't deserve the soundtrack that it has. Oh, okay, so, Johnny, you are not a fan of Black Knight. I, no, I have not played Sonic and the Black Knight in about five years. Uh, this came out in 2009, I believe, yeah, right? Yeah, it was yeah, April 2009. I put about two hours in, which I realized was like 98% of the game. All right, IGN, calm and, it down. <laughs> and I just <laughs> got sick of it. Like, I have never got sick of a Sonic game ever. And I've played Shadow, and I've played 06, and I just couldn't deal with it. I, I hated the motion controls. I liked how... You know, you're able to control Sonic as you will. I mean, it's still on rails for the most part. But, you know, Sonic's not constantly moving. You have to actively do that with the analog stick. But it's just I didn't like the battling. I didn't like level progression. And the only thing I was getting out of it was the music. And I was like, no, fuck this. I, I, I don't care that I spent $50 on this. I, I regret everything. Uh, then I well, wait, is that an opinion? Oh, yeah, that, that's, that's an opinion, man. Whoa, man. Shit. Johnny, you're kicked from the call. We only want people who like this game. <laughs> Yeah, I, 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 I'm kicking the Knights of the Round <laughs> He is Sir Johnny, oh, Knights of the Shut the Fuck Up. <laughs> Try out this one. <laughs> see, I, I actually, um, I don't, I actually think this is a kind of a underrated Sonic game. I admit it's not perfect, don't get me wrong, I'm not saying this is one of the, one of the best Sonic games ever made. I just personally find it's, um, I guess because I was so, for my money, Secret Rings is the worst Sonic game ever made. Like, I know everyone likes to point out uh, I would, I, I would, no, I, I would yeah, agree. I, I, would agree. Yeah, I know everyone likes to point out Sweet. 06, but 
06's controls are not as bad as, as Secret Rings is. Um, I can't stand. So if, I guess because no. I because I knew this was part of the storybook series and it was a spin-off, I didn't go in expecting a like the um say like a game on the level of like SA1 or College, even though that, that hadn't come out yet. For what it is, kind of a um a lower budgeted spin-off game. The fact that this for me this is an improvement in every single way over Secret Rings. And that's just one reason why I um I like this game. Also, also I I was going through I actually went through a bad breakup um <laughs> as this game came out, and I got over it through my love of, of stabbing things. So that's why this game kind of has. <laughs> what's know, This game kind of has a oh, has a, a special place in my heart. It's, it's, it's a bit of a cathartic <laughs> yeah. factor for you. It's great for divorce, <laughs> said Sega. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's what I've been saying. Should anything. Should anything ever happen with me and Kerry, I actually have a box on my wall says, in case of divorce, break glass, just a copy of this game. <laughs> 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 yeah, I, have, I haven't played Black Knight in about five years. I so will say, yeah. if, I'm, I, if I'm sure to revisit it, maybe my opinion will change of it slightly. That's what happened with Secret Rings, you know, because before I went and re-reviewed it last year, you know, my opinion was it was a Sonic game. I think. I think. <laughs> Maybe been Mario. I don't really remember. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I, I revisited. It, I was like, wow, this is a piece of shit. So maybe my Black Knight opinion may change if I decide to revisit it. Who knows? I will say, I mean, it, it is something that we've. We. I wish there was an option for like pressing the A button to swing as opposed to actually having to use motion controls. That would have because the the motion controls there. They're not as bad as some other Wii games I've played, but they could have been a bit more precise. It, it's still pretty waggle. Oh yeah, though. it's a complete, complete waggle fest. Um, yeah, yeah, but still, it's not that bad. So, um, Matt, you, uh, you you said before we started, you haven't yes. played this game. What is your? But you said you did watch all the cutscenes. What is your experience? What is your complete experience then with this game? Uh, I watched the cutscenes a couple of years ago on YouTube. Obviously, um. Haven't really played the game, but I heard, like, it's a better version of Sonic and the Secret Rings. But, uh, other than that, not really. A lot of experience with this game. What? I apologize. I forgive you. I, I don't. It broke my heart. Well, here's a question I want to ask you all, though. I'm pretty sure you may, you may have covered this in earlier parts, but, like, the sheer conception, the concept, the announcement of this game, how did you guys respond to it, even if you weren't going to play it immediately? Mm -hmm. I was looking forward to it. In fact, there is there is now a um, taken down video where me and like a few months before this game came out, where me and Smoothies just talked about it, and I was really looking forward to this. Like um, this was after unleashed, I was really looking forward to this game because I thought it looked kind of fun. Um, so yeah, I was I was I was hyped for it. it this, I was quick to say this this cutscene, um, this piece of music is called "For the Kingdom and Its People" by Harold Dross, and to me this sounds like a a cutscene track from Kingdom Hearts. Not sure if anyone else shares that opinion. If they don't, you're wrong, but that's fine. <laughs> Not familiar with it enough. Who, I was going to say... Who, 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 who contributed to the soundtrack besides the usual... Like, I know June you know, Sonoid this was kind of this. a... You know like how for um, Generations, June Sonoid, they kind of got like, the best of Sonic composers? He did this in this as well. He got, he, got, uh, he basically um, brought back people he'd worked with in the past. So there's June Sonoy, there's Howard Drossen, there's Richard Jakes, uh, it's Richard Jacques, Sonic Man is back in this. Um, yeah. There is Tommy Tonorico. Tonorico? How do you pronounce his last name, Chris? Yeah. Tony. I think it's just Tonorico. Tommy. Tommy. And and some odd, a few of the usual Sega people, but you know, um, I, I this one I think is one of my, this is one of my favorite soundtracks. What's on the game? Is this so sort of like a Sonic and Sega All Star composer? Pretty much. Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it's also it, it's weird how they they put in they use. One thing, in, to go off on a slight tangent about, say, Generations, one, I think one of the biggest letdowns, apart from its story, is the fact that the cutscenes, they don't, like, all of the remix music for levels is awesome, but the cutscenes is just kind of like generic music. It's weird how Black Knight yeah. does mm -hmm. better nostalgia cutscene music than Generations does. Yeah, uh, Generations was all elevator music. Kind of, yeah. It's just, and that... Except for when the death, when, when the time eater shows death up, then, when, then I, I think the, the death eater. <laughs> I think that, that's what you're, at, the, at that point, your elevator is probably plummeting down a hundred floors. Uh, and I'll, I'll give I'll give the storybook series series two games uh, credit. I, I always did like the presentation of the games. You're like I like the storybook setup of Secret Rings, and I like the uh, there was a style of name for how Black Knight handles it, but I, I always said it was another storybook sort of uh, presentation, but I, I always did enjoy how these games looked, and 
to its credit, it's not a bad looking game. It's actually for nice. a Wii game. I think actually I do think I would yeah. rank this one of the best looking Wii games. I mean, hmm, okay. I mean, I haven't played. I haven't played every Wii games. I should maybe make an amendment to that. Of the Wii games I've played, this is one of the. Uh, as, as me and Chris said in the first part, I love the uh, menu design and layouts for those. Like that stuff looks looks pretty sweet. I just want to say something that struck me when this game is announced. We're kind of off the topic now, but it was weird to me because I always kind of viewed Sonic as the force of nature and Eggman's the technological man-made side. So it was kind yeah. of weird to see Sonic using. I mean, I don't know if Caliburn's technically a man-made weapon, but you know, at the time, all we knew was like this sword that maybe talked. I think. So it was just kind of this weird. It just made me feel kind of uneasy. That was what we just saw. That was a th that was, that a, was a weird slap fight. fight. We're like, no, we're just shaving. That's amazing. <laughs> now, Johnny, if if Ted was here, I mean, look at this grass. Look at this grass. Up yours, high Warriors. <laughs> oh <Look at> my <laughs> god. <laughs> I was waiting for it. I was fucking waiting for it. Oh my god. Yeah, it, be better grass. Better than grass than high Warriors. Warriors. <laughs> it's better than grass. Warriors. <laughs> Jesus Christ. No. Uh, you know what? Uh, the, the announcement of this game, I was I was raising, I was raising three eyebrows that time. I didn't know I had. That I was raising one. three children at the time. <laughs> it was hard to play three, games. Three children at the time. No, because when, when Black Knight was announced, uh, Unleashed and Chronicles didn't even come out yet, and oh, that's I right. thought, Je Jesus Christ, guys! I mean, what the fuck? I was like, uh, we understand like uh, Sonic 06 was a bad game, but you don't remedy the issue by just releasing three other games and see what people like about it. Uh, <laughs> Black Knight came out at the, the wrong time for me. It was like. Unleash Chronicles hasn't even come out yet. I don't even know if I'm gonna like these games, and you're already throwing another one at us. Uh, how, what was the? Well, no, because two uh, Sonic Chronicles being developed by Bioware. Yeah, Bioware. Right. So, no. Yeah. Then Sonic Team didn't have to worry about developing that, I suppose. Uh, and Unleash was being developed by the main team. So, well, the, the, it hasn't been confirmed. There are two separate developers. Oh yeah, teams, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like yeah. one for the storybook series, and and the storybook series people are the ones the ones that make color. Yeah, which um, yeah, they're, yeah. they're kind of my favorite. The and I believe they also did. I, fi I think they World. did the majority of Lost World. I think some of the A team helped out with Lost World, but I think it was mostly to be. Uh, I, I, I I don't want to call them the B team because Colors is still my favorite main series game, and so like I kind of consider them more the A team yeah. to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I, I wasn't even aware that like Sonic Team were. I should say, say Sonic Team had different developmental mm. teams at the time. For to me, all I saw was three Sonic games coming out in a succession of a year. I was like, holy shit. It's like, where are the resources for this? Like, was that, how are they affording this? That was 2008, right? So there was an, was there an Olympus game that too? 2008, yep. Yeah, 2008 gave us Unleashed and um, Mario and, and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Yeah. What was Chronicles, was Chronicles 2008? I'm pretty sure Chronicles Yeah, it was. It must have been, yeah, it must have been 2008. Um, so yeah, so this started off 2009. And then, yeah, well, one thing I want to quickly get on that we haven't mentioned about yet is that one thing that I think Black Knight does amazingly, and it, it, I'm, I'm annoyed they haven't brought it back here, is, um, is uh, other playable characters. Completely optional. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that, I mean, that, that is one thing where I don't think anyone, I mean, like, you can maybe, maybe not like, like, the sword gameplay, but, you know, there are a completely, you know, it, it's only in the second half of the game. It's only in the four levels. Um, but if you don't want, if you want to do every level of Sonic, you are more than able to. I mean, the cuts is what makes sense. You're like, wow, a Sonic, why is Blaze here for? But it's still, like, you were given the option, and I love it. I think it's. Everybody does the work, Sonic gets all the credit. Pretty much, he's much in the last <laughs> second, like, fuck you, Blaze. And me mechanically, the playable characters in this are very Sonic 3 and Knuckles styled. They're all very similar to Sonic. They just have their own nuances that don't yeah. radically change gameplay, but you can definitely notice it. It's, it's very A nice. concept which I am not sure as to why they don't revisit more often. See, Black Knight Black Knight <laughs> confirmed for best Sonic game <laughs> it does this. <laughs> obviously. Obviously. <laughs> you know, what was wrong? Like, if we're going, like, going to like the more recent Sonic games, not uh, well, I think Lost World is the most guilty of it, but, you know, what is wrong with incorporating Tails and Knuckles or Shadow or Blaze with the boost style of gameplay. I mean, why does that exclusively have to be That's Sonic? why we have Sonic why Dash. Can't... Yeah. Uh. That, that, that does exist, right? <laughs> um, kind of forgot about that. Well, anyway, my point, my, my, point, my point stands. You know, why can't we incorporate any other characters with the boost be gameplay? With, you, you, you can find ways to justify it. You know, Tails gets a, like a little, little little machine that makes him go far, fast. Knuckles just does what he naturally Tails does. Tails doesn't Shadow. need a he machine. Need He's it. fast. This is one thing I don't like about some of the, the more recent games is the nerfing of Tails. 
You yeah. gotta play the classics, he's just as fast and strong as Sonic and he can fly, so he's clearly better. Yeah, he probably shit his pants the first time he ever went through a loop. It's like, oh, I'm not doing oh, that God. again. It's strictly, strict, <laughs> strictly weaponized wheelchairs for me from now on, Sonic. <laughs> you know, but... Hey, Matt. How you doing? <laughs> oh, uh, hey, I'm doing pretty well. Uh, just watching the gameplay. I don't know how to chime in. I'm trying so, my best. <laughs> based, what, have you, what do you think of so far based on what you've seen? My crappy game. Boy. I like it. You know what? You were talking about when this game was announced. I was 11. So, oh, uh, that, makes you, that makes you feel so old. <laughs> yeah, I was pretty in university young. with God. Jesus Christ. I was, oh, I was in the Arts Institute when this game came out. <laughs> Damn. Uh, well, yeah, I'm like. Well, hey, I man, mean, if you haven't gotten it yet, I mean. It's cheap it's, now, I, maybe. Well, it's, well, it's been, well, it's been delisted from uh, Sonic because, like, this, along with, I guess, was Secret Rings also Holy delisted? Christ, yes. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, I, I, hope, I, I hope. Dude, dude, you eBay know what? is my At best friend. At least was delisted as well, man. <laughs> I, I see this game what? in stores sometimes well, yeah, for 20 see, bucks. A, a I mean, lot of Target still have it. I see it in Target a lot of times. Yeah. I'd say it's worth $20. Okay. Just to know. John, I have to say, John, oh, as I had, a, I had no as idea a um, animator, what did you... I, I know you may have said I wasn't listening because I don't listen when you speak, but what what did you think of these kind of stylized <laughs> animated cutscenes? Like, yeah, I like it. I like the storyboard presentation. I like these a little more than the um, storybook scenes in Secret Rings because they're a little more animated. They're a lot more the animated, time, man. Still, I, I, I hate animated. the ones in Secret Rings. You, really? I, I always like that, uh, the storybook. I, did, I, I didn't Rings. mind the idea, but for me, there's there's so little movement. A lot of the time, you're just looking at a static image for minutes. Well, it's like you're reading a book. But I'm not. I'm playing a video game. <laughs> you're reading a book I'm here. Not, I, okay. Now shut up and read your book. I, thought, I wondered why my issue of Maxim was being weird, this issue. Okay. <laughs> no, okay, now... What are you in Hogwarts? <laughs> now this um this level as we're going to be playing Sh uh, Sh Sh Sir Lancelot has hands down one of the greatest out of context lines ever in a video game. I'm not sure if Chris will, will show it, but in case he doesn't, I don't give a shit. There's a section where you go near some butterf butterflies, and you haven't lived until you hear Shadow the Hedgehog say, "The butterflies, they're confusing me." <laughs> That's not in this playthrough, so I'm so glad you said It's that. like the greatest <laughs> line ever. It's so awesome. <laughs> are we, are we just saw sort of Shout the Hedgehog get pip slapped by Groot. I love this game. <laughs> you know, how does Shadow have his futuristic skating technology back in the past? That's a good fucking Back point. in the ancient times. Yeah, ancient medieval skateboard. Or Because <laughs> 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 it's ye old it's skateboard. steampunk. He's steampunk Sir yeah. Lancelot. <laughs> Man, can I whine about level design for a little go second here? Oh, go right this ahead. Level, go right ahead. Th there's some like tree branches you can uh, like slide dash off of. You know that's kind of neat. Coming up a bit in the level, those automatically propel you into spikes and other obstacles, and you get hit. It's not really said, but you're meant to slide, jump, whatever the hell off the logs, and then do a homing attack to go by them. But, this is one of the points in this game where they like, yeah, like that. They just like to shove you into obstacles sometimes, and I don't really I, care I, for I, it. Yeah, Not I, enough, will, uh, I will agree, warning. this level, this is probably the cheapest level in the... <laughs> that was your fault, Chris. That was yeah. your fault. I'm sorry, you, you ran into <laughs> that, that. That was my fault. Shadow, that's a bear <laughs> trap. You're not a bear, you're a hedgehog. <laughs> you're a hedgehog, you stupid, stupid. <laughs> but I would say this is, is um, Hands down, the cheapest level in the game. Um, I think the next one with Blaze is almost almost, bad. but not oh, quite. Is that the, yeah, that the, is that the volcano yeah, level? Yeah, the cauldron. Yes, Although I will say this is one of my favorite music tracks. This is um, this um, I think it's um, the the shadow boss theme in um, Sonic Boom. Um, a lot of people say it sounds like, like this track, Shrouded Forest, which is kind of fitting because this is Sir Lancelot's shadows level. Well, hell if I remember that. Track. Actually, the Shadow Boss fight is actually, actually, that's one of my favorite. I, actually, I, I, I like that track, Shadow Chris. I like it. Okay. You like it. Yeah, fuck the level. Fuck everything. Oh, da damn, this stuck on log. damn this log. Chaos control, don't work on logs. <laughs> <laughs> Wood is immune to the powers of chaos. <laughs> the logs are good. <laughs> <laughs> I will say though, it, it is it is a oh, small man. thing that I like the fact that they did incorporate like Shadow still has his chaos powers, Knuckles can glide, Blaze still has the, all, all that, the fire it. mechanics. 
they did do a good job of, of incorporating each um, Sonic character's special abilities within the kind of sword mechanic gameplay. Yeah, I'm going to agree. It's, well, then again, it, but that's what we brought the discussion earlier. Is it that hard to do? Well, seeing as Sonic Team, with the exception of this game, haven't done it in like over a decade, I'd probably say yes. Even though they're, they're, too, yeah. they're too lazy to do it. <laughs> Uh, lazy or definitely afraid. Well, but, uh, it, to me, it, to me, it got to the point where around, around generation, it was either generations or lost world, was around the time when I was like Sega. You have to stop making the fact that you only play as Sonic a selling point for a game. Because yeah. I mean, I mean that, like around secret, when you know secret rings and unleashed. At that point, it, I admit it was a breath of fresh air. Because aside from Shadow, because you know that's not Sonic, so we'll ignore that for a second. We hadn't had a Sonic only game since like the Mega Drive days, you know. Hey, 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 hey! Give the new game some credit. You could play as Red Sonic and Green <laughs> Sonic. <laughs> Screws the hedgehogs in the game. Oh, I must have missed that one. <laughs> but like you know, probably like one of the only positive things I can give to Boom is being ambitious with that. You have four characters. It's like Heroes. It was like Heroes only done. I you know, in terms of control, I rate Boom over Heroes. Yeah. Uh, over switching between characters and what they can do, because I I would say yes. Uh, also, yeah, just the fact that they you know like is, you know, tells is in heroes flying characters are worthless, because the, the well, if, Laurel, if they're, if they're not, because they're so limited, you know, because they can only do thundershoot and move around very slowly because they are inclined, obligated to carry all two of uh, their <laughs> teammates also, at all also times. Also, the fact that even if they're a giant fucking know, robot, it's also yeah. weird because like they don't have their flight times pathetic. Yes. So like that's why I like the fight characters are wilted in the game, but yeah, stuff like that tells you a, a lot better character in Boom. Um, but like, yeah, I would say this is probably my, even though Shrouded Forest is I think a cheaper level, this is probably my least favorite level in, in the entire game. Same. A lot, of, a lot of instant death here. Love, love instant death. I'm not a fan. I'm not a big fan of the music track. I do think it. Look, I, think, I think the lava looks amazing. Like the yeah. um, it's yeah. it is okay. I said it is kind of. Uh, I'm not sure if it's embarrassing or bad, but the fact that games like this and colors have far better dynamic lighting than Lost World does, you know, <laughs> like th th there's actual, you can tell, like you can just look at the lighting and tell which level you're in as opposed to Lost World. It's just, oh, I'm in the exact same level well, it, every time. It's, it, it, it's you, you mentioned that because uh, just from sheer observation, but it was confirmed. I think with the uh, there was a sign. Yes, the report the, he the Hedgehog engine was used for Lost World, which is the most depressing thing I've ever heard in my life. No, but it, not just the Hedgehog engine. It was? Uh, yeah, yeah that's extremely just thing. It was, it was a, a watered down version. Yeah, a severely what? stripped down version of the Hedgehog engine, which is for Lost World, which is why it does not look as good as Unleashed Regeneration. Or Colors. I was going to say, oh. we, we could have told you guys that. Izuka told, Izuka told Smoothies that at Boom a few months ago. You did? Yeah. Huh. This is news to me. Well, it's weird, because, like, well, it's, they, they've kept on using it, but it's, they keep on, like, because uh, uh, Generations had it, but it was a watered down version. But, um, but apparently from that retro post, because the budget for Lost World was like considerably lower than that of um, other games, apparently, that's yeah. why they, they didn't have the manpower to like implement it. And also that they wanted to, they they sacrificed graphical power for the um, 60 frame um, frame like frames. Yeah, which, that's probably exactly which what which. It is. I, I, I would I would be sense. fine with that if Mario Kart 8 didn't run at 60 frames and look fucking <laughs> incredible, you know? Like, yeah. or Bayonetta, Bayonetta 2, Smash, Talk, Talk. Smash, you know, Smash it's Brothers. Like, it's, if, if, if all 60 frame games had to look bad, I'd be fine. But they don't. They look amazing. Sonic Team, work your game up, fools. <laughs> or die, I don't know. <laughs> or die, we, we used to love you. Yeah, you know how it is. <laughs> Well, you got that level pretty safely, I gotta say. Well, you're not done yet, uh, but I, I I had a lot of edits out. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, there's there a lot of death. It looks like this. you had a good time with that level. I wish. I really so wish. So, who misses Blaze the cat? I do. I miss Blaze. I do. I, miss Blaze. I do. We need we need a stronger like we need Blaze back. She's a really strong female character. In the I, would, I would series. I would argue with really the exception like of her pointlessly being captured and shattered crystal. Boom Amy is a pretty good strong female character. I, I like it. I like Boom Amy. Boom Amy. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Definitely a step in the right direction. But we don't know if we're going to get that back in the main no. series. <laughs> oh. Hey, 
We're getting fortune telling. <laughs> hey, we need we need we need Sonic battle Amy back where she starves herself to get fins as he hallucinates Sonic and fights him. Um, okay. Yeah, for, fortune teller Amy. Where the hell was she when Boom was on the <laughs> Sonic, this is going to suck. Don't hey, do it. Hey, you say you say Amy isn't a strong character. She knocks out Knuckles in Generations by pushing him against the tree. Fuck you, G Generations writers. <laughs> Hey, 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 Knuckles punched Super Sonic. Yeah. True. And he punched the Chaos Emerald well, right out of really, him. He didn't really punch him, he just jumped into him. Which is, I guess, he, more he impressive. Spooked, oh, yeah, yeah he spooked right. Sonic. Right. Yeah, he scared Sonic. Hey, no, regular Knuckles crotch. can break down rocks. Super Sonic can't. Super Sonic confirmed to be scrub. <laughs> um, as, as we get to the end of, the, of this part, guys, would you like to uh, do a final sum up and or plug something? I... Uh, you can go first, Matt, if you want to. Uh, I tried. Uh, <laughs> this was my first time, you know, uh, doing this commentary thing. So uh, thank you, and I apologize if I was a little, you know, lackluster. But I had a lot of fun regardless. You did good. Did um, fun. We will, we yeah. will definitely get yeah. you back on a game where you have played <laughs> next time. So you have more. That is a good <laughs> idea. Uh, but, but Matt, do you have anything you want to... Matt, I'll do a Tales channel. Is there anything you would like to plug? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Don't forget it. Don't forget it. Uh... Yeah, I do. I do Sonic news, speculations, rumors on my channel. So uh, go check it out. It's fun. I Unless guess. But Matt, you have to yeah. tell Matt, owner of Tales Channel, you have to tell the people what your channel is so they can find it. Oh, oh, Tales! Oh, <laughs> 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 you, you can't. You can't do this to me. You can't. <laughs> Wait, Tales whoa! Channel. Are you yeah. telling me you out? I thought that was just your name because you always say it. I know you actually own Tales Channel. That's blowing my mind. <laughs> It's it's my legal it's my legal name Matt the owner of Tails Channel. That's a very weird last name. Um, no, my parents. <laughs> <are crazy>. <laughs> <laughs> well played, well played. Uh, uh, anyway, you guys know where you can find me at um, youtubecom slash Johnny for my reviews. I do reviews of a lot of games and. Uh, I'm getting ready to do my donator marathon. Good luck. Oh, my God. That's going to be such a clusterfuck. Uh, but uh, you, can, you can catch me on there. You can also catch me on Brain Scratch Commentaries, uh, YouTube.com slash Brain Scratch Comms, and my Super Gamer Brothers Let's Play channel at YouTube.com slash SGB Likes to Play. I do a lot of good shit there, along with my buddies Elliot and Matt. Uh, not Disclaimer, Matt, that charity stream may have already <laughs> happened not me. by the time this goes up. Uh, Johnny, Johnny, quick, <laughs> pointless rating out of 10 for this game. Ra I, I don't do ratings anymore. No. Oh, yeah. No. Well, aren't you special? All right. Yeah, All right. Yeah, sorry. Mr. Too Good for IGN. Okay, I share it is. <laughs> seven out of eight, not enough. <laughs> seven, seven point eight out of ten, too much grass. Yeah. I, I knew that was going to happen. I knew it. I think I we've had it. that every part so far. It's, it's, it's the every LPS to have a really unfunny running gag. This is just the one we have for this one. I hate my life. It's not even planned. That's the best part. Bye. Right, bye. <laughs> and. <laughs> and.